Well, all right, y'all, we got ourselves another beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Barlow Barbecue. And on the menu today, I've got some beef short ribs. Now, contrary to popular belief in the barbecue community, beef short ribs aren't just for smoking. I'm gonna treat them just like a steak and grill them up on my gas grill. And I'm sure you're already thinking, man, why are you gonna ruin a short rib and grill them? Well, I'll tell you what, short rib steaks may be the best steaks that you've never tried. Here are the beef short ribs that I'm using today. Now I picked these up at uh, my local grocery store and you can usually find them sold in a pack of about five like this. So the first thing I did was last night, I actually salted these just to give them some time to absorb that salt. And it's gonna help these short ribs retain some moisture as we grill them, all right? Now you feel free to season these however you want. There's really no right or wrong. But the one essential thing that you need to do for this type of cook is we need to remove the bone from the back of these short ribs, all right? So let me take pick one up here and show you. So on the underside of each of these ribs, you've, you have this bone right here. So we need to just slice it right along as close as we can to that bone, all the way down. Just like that. Now there is just a little bit of meat, just a thin strip of meat on there, so you're gonna lose a little bit. You get a, a pack or two of these, and that's gonna add up. So this is what you're gonna want at the end once you get those bones removed, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and slice off the meat from the rest of these bones, and I will meet you at the grill. I got my gas grill warming up here and that should be ready in just a couple minutes. Now you at home, if you don't want to use a gas grill, use your charcoal grill. You can even use a cast iron pan on the stovetop. It doesn't matter. It's all good. But this is my YouTube channel, so I'm going to use whatever I want. Now I'm going to grill these steaks until they hit an internal temp of as close as I can get to 130. Any lower than that and the fat that's in these short ribs isn't going to render that well and it's not going to taste too great. And if you go too far above 130, then all that fat is just going to melt right out of the short ribs and you're gonna be left with a dry rib. Now, since I'm making a video, who knows, I'm probably gonna screw it up. But for you at home, 130 is your target temp. So I think my grill is ready to go. Let's go ahead and get the short ribs on. Let these sear up on this side. We'll give it a couple minutes and then we'll flip them. It's been a couple minutes. It's time to flip these. There we go. Looking good. These little guys right here. We'll just keep flipping them back and forth till we get some nice searage going on. I don't think it's going to take too long for these to hit 130. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. It's time for another flip. Ooh, yeah. These are looking good. The old handy dandy thermometer here. Let's give a quick temp check. We're almost at 100 there. Same. All right, these got a little bit to go yet. Let's let them rip. Got a couple minutes. Time for another flip. Let me get a temp of these real quick. All right, y'all. I just took a temp on these, and they are ready. They're time to take off the grill. They are temping just a little over 130. And I'm gonna go ahead and temp these with some foil and then let them rest for about five minutes. We'll slice into them. I've had these short ribs resting now for about 10 minutes. 
A little tip for you. I put a pat of compound butter on each one of these short ribs before I put that foil on there. All right, I think I'm gonna start with this one. Now, it is important with these short ribs that you slice them against the grain. It's a little tricky to tell which way that grain is running. So I'm gonna try a slice this way first. And we can tell. Okay, that looks right to me. This is looking real good, folks. Yeah. Let me try a slice this way on this one. Yep, that looks good. And, uh, you know, I could have gotten a little bit better sear on these, but I just wanted to show y'all that there's a different way of doing short ribs. This looks great. I'm gonna snap a couple photos for my thumbnail, and then I'm gonna give these a taste test. All right, y'all, the moment of truth has arrived. Let's see how these beef short rib steaks turned out. Mmm. Mmm. That's real good. Still nice and tender. That compound butter really gives the steaks a nice boost of moisture. And these short ribs have a really nice, rich, beefy flavor. Mmm-hmm. -hmm. That's real good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you're in the mood for something a little bit different on steak night, grab yourself up a pack or two of these. Really appreciate you hanging out with me. I'll have a recipe and breakdown of today's cook right down below in the description box for you. I love you and until next time, smoke them if you got them. Bye bye.